Hey Luke here with catsandcarp.com and me and my boy Nathan here we're doing some night fishing. Are, are you gonna are you trying to give the the catfish goldfish crackers? Mm. Alright guys, so we need to catch some bait. We're gonna catch a bunch of bluegills and green sunfish here. And Tommy has been kind enough to go and dig for worms. So we've got some earthworms in here and we've got these little dock demon rods from Zebco and I've got a little bobber on there and a number 12 hook and we're gonna see if we can't catch some bait and we're gonna put them in our little fray bill uh, flow troll here and uh, before we transfer them to the boat but we are in a hurry we need to get a lot of bait really quick I probably need about 18 fish 16 fish and uh, I want a half of them to be bluegill all right, Tom. I like this that you're uh, you're catching the worms for us. That's nice. There we go. Up over the side, pull them over the side. Hey Nathan, we got another fish. No, no, I caught it. Here, Nathan, you want to see him? All right, can I, can I see him? All right, good job. Boys. There we go. Okay, hold it. Hey, baby. Oh, no, there we go. Hey, hey. Here he goes. Come over here, put him in. Put him in the bucket. Good job. Hey, 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 hey. Mommy came back. Mommy. All right. We got our bluegill. Let's go. Okay, let's get going. All right, there we go. All right, some bait. Oh, you got your hand dirty. Put him in. Here, here, Nathan, grab that one, put him in. Okay, go ahead and put him in. Now, now that is a healthy live well. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You ready to go? Hmm? Yeah, let's do it. Carp spine cut me up pretty good. Ooh. 
Well, I'm going to try a spot I've never hit before and just really trying something new. The spot I'm at, um, there's a really nice bank. It's a little steep. It's undercut a little bit. Great hiding spot for catfish. And there's lots of shad in here. But other than that, there's not a lot of features. But I have a theory that big flatheads and blue catfish don't really associate to to sunken logs and, and stuff like that that much in lakes because there's no current. You know, they, uh, they got a little spot to kind of hide and that's all they need. They don't need to block from the current. So I'm just going to kind of hit this wide open spot. There's lots of shad and uh, we're going to see what happens. I've never fished this spot before. Just got a good feeling. Okay, one thing I am really excited about with this trip is I get to use my whisker seekers again. Oh, these are my favorite rods. I've been doing these catfish uh, rod review videos, and so I've been having all my, my reels on the rods I'm reviewing, and I've had those stringed up, and I've been fishing with them to review these rods, but they aren't the real rods I really like fishing with, so I'm glad to have my rods back. So I've got this Okuma Trios 55S and the Whisker Seeker Chad Ferguson series, medium heavy uh, power rods. I've got a three ounce lead on a slider and an ADOT Gamagatsu hook with about 12, 10 inches of 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. And we're gonna fish with live shad and live bluegill. Well, we're gonna catch something. It's gonna be good. This year's my horse Misty. Howdy, Misty. All right, girl. Okay, with these uh, shad, you want to hook them through the back, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch into the meat, right behind the dorsal fin. Make sure there's no uh, scales on the hook point. You're good to go. So I got all my fishing bells here. Put those on there. And see here, these are uh, monster rod holders, the 3345 angles. You can set them like this, or you can set them like this, or you can set them like this. And uh, Steve Douglas, owns a company that makes these. But monster rod holders, man, I love them. I uh, I had these rod holders when I first bought the boat. First time I took it out catfishing, snapped off and broke one of them. And that was the last time I was gonna let that happen. I went and immediately bought myself some real rod holders right after that and never looked back. In Virginia, a man's only limited by how many rods his wife lets him buy. You can fish as many rods as you want. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Peanut butter jelly time. Mmm, good. Tastes like shad. got a hit on that rod and it didn't hook up. Might have lost my bait so I'm gonna wait three to five minutes. If I don't get another nibble I'm checking my bait. Another full moon. Why is it I always go fishing on full moons? I don't know. I'm gonna wrap up a Nathan. I got a Nathan burrito. There you go. Nathan, Nathan burrito. Nathan, catfish. Huh? Oh, catfish. Do you want to reel them in? Huh? Come here, buddy. Okay, reel that in. You got that. Come on, Nathan. Keep reeling them. Woo! Oh, he's. Oh, yeah. He's strong. You got him? You okay? He got away. Oh, that was a decent fish. 
Oh man, I can't believe we lost that. Sorry about that, Nathan. I actually felt like uh, that thing was over 10 pounds, maybe 10, 15 pounds. Who knows, but felt decent. Nathan, careful with that knife, buddy. Here, let me see the knife. Yeah, let's take that away. That's, we get get you something else to play with. Hey, oh, you want some goldfish crackers? There you go, bud. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Is that cool? I think he eats real goldfish, not crackers. Here, shall we go put him back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a channel cat. Man, he's a feisty channel cat. You want to feed him goldfish crackers? There he goes. There's, he gets a goldfish cracker from Nathan. There you go. Oh, that's mommy. She's wondering where we're at. Hey, babe. Hey, it's going much better. From my perspective, um, I was I was cleaning up and getting ready to go, and then we just got three fish. Yeah, but yes, 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 yes. I love you. Uh, okay, I will. I we will. We are. Yeah, I love you so much, and you love me, and we we have such strong love. We will come home. I love you so much, Becca. No more fishing. Okay, I'm really good in. I'm I'm coming home, babe. I love you so much. You are a wonderful and supportive wife, and I love you dearly. And I'm headed home right now. And I am I am reeling in my gear. Okay, I'll see you. I'll. See. Well, I mean, I did when there was fish on the end, but I'm gonna, okay. I, anyway, I love you, babe. I'll see you in. Okay. Love you. Okay, I, I need to go. Okay, bye bye. Well, we stayed out a little bit later than we planned on staying, and my wife, who is extremely supportive, anybody who knows, watches my channel, knows my wife is very, very supportive. She has sent me a gentle but firm phone call saying it is time to get our two year old son to bed, and so that is what we're going to do. So, at any rate, Hope you enjoyed this little video, uh, just uh, me and Nate going out and having a good time. Nathan, did you have fun fishing with Daddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we put out videos multiple times a week, so please don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. All right, let's, let's get out of here.